factory farming developed after World War II to maximize production of meat, milk and eggs. Sadly, little or no thought was given to the welfare of the animals. Animals in their thousands were bred for fast growth and high yields. They were treated as production units, hence the term factory farming. Some of the most notorious factory farming systems are the confinement of calves in crates for veal, the keeping of pregnant sows in narrow stalls, and hens in battery cages. Animals kept like this suffer physically because their movement is severely restricted. They also suffer psychologically from being isolated or overcrowded. In 1967, Compassion in World Farming was founded by a dairy farmer who was appalled by the suffering caused by factory farming. Since then, Compassion in World Farming has achieved dramatic reforms for farm animal welfare. We led the successful campaign to have animals recognized as sentient beings in European Union law. In the 1990s, Compassion in World Farming achieved bans on veal crates and narrow stalls for pregnant sows in the UK. In 1993, we set up the European Coalition for Farm Animals to campaign for similar bans throughout the EU. Our campaigning resulted in a ban on veal calf crates throughout the EU from January 2007. It has also led to the EU's agreement to phase out sow stalls and battery cages within the next decade. Compassion in World Farming has expanded across Europe and beyond. We now have representatives who are working internationally to counteract the global growth of factory farming. We are now lobbying major European and international supermarket chains in order to extend higher animal welfare standards to as many countries as possible. Compassion in World Farming has achieved unprecedented successes for farm animal welfare, but huge challenges lie ahead. Without support for Compassion in World Farming's campaigning and lobbying, the future will be bleaker for farm animal welfare, the environment and human health. As world demand for cheap meat increases, the South American rainforests will continue to be devastated for cattle grazing and for the growing of soya to feed factory farmed animals. Overgrazing in parts of Asia and Africa will turn ever more land to desert. Animal farming already contributes significantly to global warming because of its massive scale. The volume of greenhouse gases it produces is set to rise steadily as world demand for meat and dairy products accelerates. Greater global consumption of meat is likely to increase rates of heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers, placing severe strain on health services. With your support, Compassion in World Farming can play a key role internationally in creating a better future for farm animals and the environment. If we are successful, most farm animals will live in free range or organic farms or in enriched conditions indoors if land is at a premium. We believe that people will reduce their consumption of meat, milk and eggs preferring to pay a little extra for the sake of the animals, their own health and the environment. Compassion in World Farming's campaign will lead to a ban on the use of ultra-fast growing, cloned and genetically engineered farm animals. Our aim is that the World Trade Organization will allow countries to ban the import of any cruelly produced animal products, such as battery eggs. With your support, Compassion in World Farming's vision will be fulfilled and factory farming will be brought to an end. 
You can actively promote the welfare of farm animals every time you go shopping by buying free range or organic produce. You can help Compassion in World Farming achieve more successes for farm animals in the next 40 years. Together, we can ensure that farm animals everywhere have a decent quality of life. We can help safeguard human health and we can avert environmental catastrophe. The welfare of billions of animals depends on the decisions we all make today.